I want to squeeze in uh, Celeste, who's been waiting for about 15 minutes here and wants to comment on uh, telephones. Uh, Celeste, you're on. Good morning. What's going on? Good morning. So you're Good. talking telephones, but not just telephones, as in 315 or 680 area code. You're on the, the Congresswoman uh, Tenney issue. Yeah, now uh, Congressman Tenney has finally gotten herself a telephone, actually, as of just yesterday. Okay. Um, but as I'm sure you're aware, she was sworn in on January 3rd, and it took her until February 9th to have a, a telephone in her local office. I don't know what the holdup was, um, but it's pretty clear to a lot of us that uh, the Congresswoman is not really interested in being uh, accessible to her constituents. So there... she does now have a phone number in that office, and I'd love to share it with you. Okay, that number is? 315-732-0713. And it's a different office, so it's not in the same place as Congressman Hanna was. So this office is going to be in New Hartford. Yes, this is in, uh, it's at 555 French Road in New Hartford. It's uh, located right next to Home Depot. Um, so, yeah, it's not in the same office that Richard Hanna was in. Uh, and some people are a little confused by that. Um, why, I've why, heard why, through the great yeah, sign that he, he offered up her, his office to her, and she declined. So um, I, I just want to, Celeste, you're just somebody calling in. You're a citizen uh, that is concerned, right? Uh, it's not like right. you're officially in any official official capacity. Is that correct? No official capacity. Okay. I'm just one of her constituents who wants to have, you know, access to the woman who's been elected to represent me in Washington. Okay. I want uh, to be able to have access to her. I want her to be willing to listen to her constituents. You were behind and, behind. Uh, you were behind the GoFundMe page, were you? That uh, was trying to raise <laughs> I money. Was not. Did you see that page? Was that not. was. Uh, I did see that. I yeah. thought that was pretty clever. Pretty I funny. think it was meant to be funny and uh, maybe a little bit of so. a maybe a little bit of a dig. Five weeks. A little bit of a dig. A little bit of a yeah. Yeah. Five weeks and change for the phone number. I certainly understand the criticism. I don't get the criticism though that her office is in the same place at Hannah's. I mean. I don't think our Curie was there, and I know before him, Bolert used to be in the Perny building on Broad. Well, wait, what Celeste they, is saying is that, based on the reason that uh, Congresswoman Tenney gave... Well, well, let's let her say it. What, uh, what are you saying, Celeste? Well, she had, you know, her, her argument was, hey, it's hard to start up an office. There's a lot of bureaucracy. We have this new space. Well, that was a choice she made. She chose to have a new space when she could have occupied an office that was already ready to, you know, she yeah. could have hit the ground running. Uh, if she had simply stepped into Richard Hanna, her predecessor's office, she would have had she would have had an office that was already prepared to be the office of a congresswoman. All right. uh, and instead, she sort of insisted on, for whatever reasons of her own. And as you say, it's not like it's set in stone that you have to be in that office. But uh, you know, she could have uh, stepped into an office that was ready to use, and instead, yeah. she chose to start from scratch. Uh, okay, I have to tell you, there's a uh, there's a very vocal group uh, out there that's uh, that is uh, really hammering her Facebook page, and uh, and I, I, I have to ask you though, are you a part of the group that uh, you know the Democrats have come out and said that uh, one of those they're targeting is uh, is is Congresswoman Tenney? Are you a part of that Democrat group? Or are you just simply a constituent that's saying, uh, you know? This uh, this isn't acceptable. Uh, I'm. I think I'm just a constituent saying that this isn't is, that this isn't um, acceptable. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a member of the party. I'm not. Um, you know, a member of that group. I don't know that there's any official group. I'm certainly. Uh, you know, I have concerns about some of her policy positions and her support for the current administration. Yeah. Uh, but mostly, what I want is for her to be accessible. I want her to have a town hall. You know. Um, yeah. You wanted to, I, I, you're breaking up there, but you, uh, saying I wanted to have a town hall. Um, right, I so, want her to have a town hall. There's a there's a congressional uh, work week coming up. It's the uh, in the middle of this month in a couple of weeks, where all the Congress people are expected to go home to their districts and work in their districts. Yep. She hasn't. Uh, she needs to schedule a town hall in Utica, right. where most of her constituents live during that time period. We will uh, try to uh, ask that question uh, if okay. we are able well, to get and her. I, I know that Anthony Brindisi, he knows how to throw town hall. Uh, he knows how to do that. Maybe he could give her some uh, give her some pointers. Give her some tips. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm sure she'll love that comment. Uh, Celeste, thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> All, right. All right. Thank uh, you very much. All right. Have a great day, guys. Uh, you too. Uh, Tom in Little Falls. Tom, you're working for Claudia? Well, this is not fair what this woman is saying. Oh, she's that's like, what she is. She's so bony. She's a, she they gave okay. it to me. I went to see okay. Claudia yeah. Tenney's office. They were more than happy to help, and they were there. Okay. And I'm, I'm, That's Lucy, by the way. Tom, quickly, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, no, I, you didn't uh, sound like Tom. Two things. I, uh, First, uh, so. Congressman Hanna did not use the same office that uh, his president. Yes, we, we, we already, that, we already said that. Let's not, let's not reiterate so, that. We already said that. We already said that. The office okay. thing is not well, a... I was 
You probably the, said the, it while I was talking yeah. to... The office thing is not an issue. She should have had her phones up, yes. and she should be answering questions from constituents, Tom. There's no defending that, period. She she was on the air, and she said that the... Tom, Tom, we can't get her. She refuses to speak with us. I have no... I'm not going to allow you to come out and defend her. She refuses to come on the air with us. She owes our listeners the opportunity of an interview and a town hall, and I agree with the with Celeste. The office situ- situation, not fair. But the phone thing, she should have had it set up. I look at her Facebook page, and it's like she's made it to Celebrity Washington, D.C. She's in there taking selfies and pictures all over the place. Deal with your constituents and come on the radio station and answer the questions. That's your duty as a congresswoman. Uh, you're still talking, Tom. You have to call me back. And, Lucia, <laughs> I-, I take your stuff with Trump, but I'm not taking it on this one, okay? Lucia? Hello. I'm not going to let you defend her on this one because there's no defense. She should do an I interview. Wait. If you, oh, wait a minute. If you get a chance to talk to her, tell her to answer our phone calls and do an interview with us. Period. Say goodbye, Claudia. I'm or, a Democrat. I, I, they were nice. Cla- uh, uh, now I'm calling you Claudia. Say goodbye, <laughs> Lucia. I, I'm not going to let you do this. Call up Claudia and tell her she should do an interview with us. She refuses to answer our calls. Is there any no, defense of that? Uh, did we make progress? This Is week? there any defense yeah, little, of that? Yeah. yeah, every week it's the same thing. Maybe we'll get to you next week. Give me a break. Suck it up and do an interview. Call her up, Lucia, and say she should do an interview on this program. I know, I understand, but I'm saying I never. Asked. I don't care about anything else. Call her up and tell her <laughs> she should do an interview on this program. Period. If Lucia calls she her as much as us. She is now our congresswoman. We'll get her. She should at least do an interview here. Do you agree? Me, me, Bill. I'm just saying, call her up. If you have contacts with her, call her up and say, what the hell's going on? That's all I'm saying. I don't saying. have a contact, but I could do it for you. Please, if anybody could do it, Lucia. If anybody could yes. accomplish it, it is you, all right? I'm gonna... I want you to know I will never fight with you over politics. I know not that. you or I'm... anyone, and Listen, okay? I'm not fighting with you. I'm just saying you should be the one to put, you could be the conduit that puts this back all together. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I know it. if anybody could pull it off. Well, she has a number now, if Lucia. If so. anyone could pull it off, it's Lucia, right? You're good at this Bill. stuff. Thank you. <laughs> she is. She could. She's going to, she's going to mend the fence. Yeah. I know she will. All right, Lucy. She that should is, do it. She should do it. That okay. is your challenge. I I wish that you will you pull this off for us. Okay. Okay. All right, Bye. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Lucy. you. All right, that's uh, Lucy. Um, and right. I mean, yeah. let's come on. Let's get past the politics. Let's just get on and talk about your district. You know, this is ridiculous. Enough punishing because. I don't know what this is. You've got a list of people that you're going after. Is that what it is? Is that you become vindictive now all of a sudden? You have the position of power. Sock it up. Do your interviews. You owe it to your constituents. Well, I, I'm, I'm sure if she hears this segment, she'll be in a hurry to come right I'm sure now. she will. <laughs> but First I'm priority. Sick of it. We're in February now. We're coming up on Valentine's Day. We still can't get a call back from the woman. Now, come on. And and and, and it's not, what are we going to do? We're going to we're going to argue with her and get her unelected, get her impeached. I mean, uh, this is clearly this is clearly being vindictive because she feels that I ask her questions and I hold her to answering those questions, and that's what I do. And everybody else sucks it up and comes on. Everybody else, there's not a single politician that refuses to come on this show, not one. Oh, wait well, a minute. There is there one. Is one. <laughs> and, and to me, it's not being a coward because everybody knows – Claudia would never back down from a fight, ever, ever would she back down from a fight. This is, oh, you didn't treat me well during the campaign. I'm going to do this to you. That's what's being done. But you're not doing it to me. You're doing it to our listeners. So, who voted for her. Who, who voted for you overwhelmingly. So come on. And, and I still don't agree that we weren't fair to her. We just asked her questions no, she didn't I, want I to hear. do not agree. So uh, come on. This is... Your district, big population here. We are a media outlet that is just asking you simple questions, and we almost every day request an interview. So come on, let's get this over with. Lucia can fix it. I got a break.